Hi, I'm Leon Poindexter, and we're here at the Gloucester Marine Railways. Uh, John up there is working on installing the, uh, the cat head. Uh, that's a knee that's going under the cat head. And uh, we'll take a look at, see what he's been up to. What John has been working on here is the uh, cat head. This is an anchor davit that holds the anchor up after it's been hauled through the hawse pipe. Uh, there's a couple of shivs in here and it goes to the ring on the top of the anchor and from there the anchor is hauled up and is put up on the rail. Under the cat head, to support the cat head, there's a, uh, a knee and it's a ship's knee that fits right underneath the cat head. Now this knee is from a tree and it's actually the root of a tree. Uh, the root coming up this way, going up into the, uh, the trunk. And this is a natural uh, crook and it's uh, quite strong. Well, from the inside of the bulwarks, as you can see, the, uh, the anchor davit or the uh, cat head has to be a pretty substantial uh, piece of material. Uh, this is going to hold an anchor of several hundred pounds, uh, so it has to be securely fastened. At this point in the evolution of ships, a lot of the heavy carving was eliminated. However, uh, they were still using a lot of decoration in the bow. The Quakers preferred not to use figureheads because it was a little too ostentatious. So instead, they decorated the stem heads with a scroll. Uh, back from the scroll, the head rails flow back to the cat head, which is the part we were just showing. And the ship's knee that goes under the cat head is right here. As you can see from the drawing, the top of the, uh, of the stem, uh, there is a head rail that comes up. And of course, this head rail goes to a bit post that's here. Now, the cat head is where the anchor hangs. And then we have a knee which supports a cat head. All of this is all tied together. Uh, below this is going to be some additional rails and uh, what they call a stem knee will fit on those little platforms right there. And that stem knee will be a support for the stem, but it will also be a decorative piece which they will sweep up and carry up into the bottom of the uh, billet head. On the top of the uh, stem out there, as you can see, there's going to be a carving. And this carving is what they call a billet head. And generally, it's a series of scrolls and leaves. And this is where the head rails uh, actually come into it. And they start to meet at the back side of the billet head. Well, that's about all the time we have for this episode. But next time, we're going to be planking from here up to the, uh, to the rail cap. And there's going to be another piece of molding will go in here. And then we'll have another hance through here. And another piece of molding. And then we'll finish up with the rail cap. So uh, check back with us next time and uh, see what we've been up to.